Hi everyone, welcome back. In this example, I'm going to show about a slider uh, widget to control the LED brightness and servo motor. It use the same concept with the uh, previous example, which is the PWM output function. In order to do this example, so we need uh, two components, which is the LED and also the servo motor. And of course, our IoT device, which is the uh, no MCU. The LED is connected to the pin D7, and also the servo motor is connected to the pin D5. And uh, the Blink apps, it will contain uh, two widgets, which is the slider 1 and also the slider 2. The slider 1 is connected to the pin, uh, to the uh, virtual pin uh, V0 while the slider 2 is connected to uh, virtual pin V1. So when you uh, move this step of the uh, slider 1 to the right, it will send the data right through the Blink server to the node MCU, for example 0 to 1023, and then this data will control the LED brightness, right? And then for the slider 2, um, when we move this uh, tab going up, right, it will send the data 0 to 180. So this data, we set it uh, from 0 to 180 because this, uh, this servo motor, it can rotate from 0 degree to 180 degree. Alright, let's create the project for the Blink app. You just go to uh, select new project and then you can put the name project which is the PWM LED and then you can choose the device uh, ESP8266 because right now we use the not MCU ESP8266 and then the uh, connection type which is the Wi-Fi and you just press uh, you just click uh, the create button here and then you will got it uh, authorization token that will be sent to your uh, registered email when you first uh, install the Blink app. This is the example of the uh, authorization uh, token that has been sent to your email. All right. Uh, as I mentioned you before, the slider one is uh, connected to the virtual pin name V0. So how to do that? First, what you need to do is you just tap this one. So the page of the uh, slider setting will uh, 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 the page of the slider setting will uh, pop up, right? And then you can change the name. Right. For example, let's say slider 1 and then we can choose the virtual pin right here. Then we can choose the virtual V0 and then you can uh, uh, enable uh, for the show value you want to enable it. And then that's it. So the final one will be like this. And then for the slider 2, uh, the same uh, step has been done. So you can change the name the virtual send to v1 and then the value yep we want to send from 0 to 180 yep you can send send this value and then we want to change this one uh, send on release so when you release it will send okay and then the final one will be like this
Alright, let's do the uh, circuit. Okay, now let's do this program. Okay, let me explain a little bit about this program. In this program, what you need to do is, uh, first, you need to copy the authorization token, right? Um, that I've been sent to your email. You put it here, right? And then you need to change the your Wi-Fi networks, yeah, your SSID of your uh, Wi-Fi network. Put it here and uh, with the password. And uh, we declare the pin of the LED, uh, like I mentioned before, this 7 and server pin is the Y. And uh, because you use the uh, servo, so you need to call this library. Okay. And then um, we use the virtual pin, so you need to call this function blink right V0 for virtual pin uh, V0 and blink right uh, for virtual pin uh, 1 V1. Okay, so the same coding, right? And except um, uh, the value that we got it, it will send to the LED in this case. And the value that we got it, we send to the uh, server function here. And for the setup function, so you need to configure the pin modes of the LED, whether output or input. Of course, it's the output, right? And then uh, for the servo motor, also uh, of course the output. And then you need to call this function for the uh, initialize uh, for the uh, servo uh, library. And then we initialize the uh, serial uh, monitor, right? And then we also initialize the blink server. And make sure inside your uh, 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 loop function, we only have the blink dot run. Okay. All right. After you upload your program, and then you need to open the serial monitor, and then you will see uh, this message. If you don't get this message, so you can press the reset button, and then uh, this message will uh, come up. And then uh, if you got this message, that means your IoT device and also your Blink app is connected successfully. Okay. On the Blinks program, you can start the program by press this button, play button. And then uh, you can uh, adjust this slider one. You will see that the LED brightness will be changed. And also, uh, when you adjust the slider two, you will see that uh, the angle of the uh, All right, that's it. Thank you. See you again on the next example.